MovieWeb.com. I was really blown away by the look of the film. It was beautifully shot. Uh, Brad Anderson is uh, a genius. Can you talk about the actual filming on the train and filming in the snow and, and, the, and the settings and if what you saw on set was what you were expecting on when you saw the final print? Um, it was, shooting this movie was as kind of um, bizarrely uh, sort of grueling <clears throat> and physically sort of tough as it seems when you watch the movie. Um, it was freezing cold, absolutely just ridiculously cold, colder than I've ever, ever, ever been or ever cared to be again. It was like sort of minus 30 degrees every day. Um, and we were, although we weren't on moving trains as we were shooting the film, we were on real trains and compartments that they'd brought over from the Trans-Siberian Railway or that they'd built on the set, but they were exactly the same size as as a, as a real train compartment. And so every time we're in one of those, um, our little compartment with the with the bunks in it, we're in the, the exact size of a, the train compartment would be. And, um, and so it was claustrophobic and bizarre and freezing cold and very long and, um, uh, and actually sort of the most fun I've ever had making a movie. It was a brilliant um, experience. And I had every faith as I was making it that it was going to turn out as well as it did um, because I could tell from being around Brad, who directed the movie, that he is just an obsessive movie maker who um, would never stop working in his head. I mean, he was just completely relentless in his um, drive to get this thing right. And he's an editor himself, so he would sit at the monitor in l all through lunch break every day, just you know, working out what shots he'd got, what shots he needed. And then we had a Spanish, a lot of um, the camera crew was, were the Catalan um, crew that had worked on his last movie, on Brad's last movie, um, with Christian Bale and made that film so beautiful. And so I knew this was gonna be as beautiful. Um, and uh, so I had every sense that it was it was going to look and um, be as wonderful as it is, but it was really tough, um, you know, doing it. All right. I mean, it's a, it's a brilliantly shot. Um, ben Kingsley in this film is just so phenomenal, and I guess I'm into whackness and just comparing the, the two characters is, is unbelievable. What was he like to work with? I mean, he's so so different in this role without revealing what his character is all about. He Ben Sir Ben Kingsley um, was the was a great um, um, presence to have around on the set. He's the most um, sort of self possessed guy. Um, he has this sort of strange calm about him, and um, he uh, is one of the few people I've managed to find on a film set who's actually willing to talk about the kind of the business of acting, because um, most people. For most people, that seems to be the sort of the most taboo subject. You can pretty much talk about anything else apart from what you're actually doing. Um, and, uh, you know, you don't hardly ever get to sort of discuss the job in hand, even with a director, weirdly, you know. You're lucky if you get a couple of days rehearsal, but on the day of the shoot, there's so much else going on. And, and really, the sort of art of how to act a scene is, is, is left totally up to the actors. Um, but so Ben is a, um, a, a lecturer and a teacher of acting, film acting, in England, um, and so he is very adept and, and into talking about it. And it was so great to be able to sit and just hear him talk about acting and to ask him questions and to get sort of try and sit and get piles of wisdom dropped onto me from uh, from from above. Um, and um, he was. Yeah, I've, he became like this sort of guru figure in that way to me, and I thought yeah, it was just so great to be able to. The guru. Um, one last question. Um, I guess I uh, saw Lars and the Real Girl again the other day, and I, I just love, love that movie. And here you're playing the Midwestern Jesse, but in a totally different situation. Uh, what is it about that, the, the Midwestern American character that appeals <laughs> to you? Um, I don't know. I guess it's just the parts I get offered. I must have something Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that I really come over as that Midwestern in real life, but I am. Um, I I 
just liked this character not because she was Midwestern necessarily, but because she had um, she had many layers to her, and she's extremely complex. And I think um, is both a, a kind, sweet, gentle soul, and also someone who has the capability to do terrible things and has done terrible things in her past and had them had terrible things happen to her in her past and um and to me that's I th a very interesting character and, and a very kind of believable one I think we're all much more complex than we kind of care to admit and that we can we have each every every one of us contains extremely opposite elements in our character and that to be a get to play a, char a person that 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 is is so full of contradictions was a great challenge <laughs> Woody Harrelson. Give me your hand! Emily Mortimer. Kate Mora. Eduardo Noriega. With Thomas Kretschmann and Ben Kingsley. You must take responsibility! What is it? Trans Siberian.